Tucked away, inside our pets are a pair of kidneys, working hard behind the scenes to keep them healthy. But there are times when those bean-shaped organs cannot keep up, and one common cause is kidney disease. Hi, I'm Tinu, and I'm a pet expert with NHV Natural Pets. You are not alone if you're worrying about pets' kidney disease. The prevalence of chronic kidney disease has been estimated to be 0.5 to 1 percentage in dogs and 1 to 3 percentage in cats. But it increases with age, especially in cats with reported prevalence of 80 percentage in the geriatric cat population. Today, we are guiding you through the stages of kidney disease and the steps you can take at each stage to help your fur kiddo feel the best. Before we begin, it is important to understand that the kidney disease is a progressive condition, meaning it can become worse over time. So when in doubt, always get a vet's opinion. That way, you can help your furry friend control the disease before it worsens. There are four stages to the kidney disease in pets. In stage one, it may not be possible to tell if your fur kiddo has the condition yet, based on what you can see at home. Therefore, regular screenings and tests at your vet could help show the otherwise invisible signs of early kidney dysfunction. One way to assess kidney disease in pets is to measure the accumulation of certain waste products in the blood. One of these waste products is creatinine, which is made by the digestion of proteins and normally controlled by the kidneys. At stage one, it will be under 1.4 milligrams per deciliter in dogs and under 1.6 milligrams per deciliter in cats. If your pet is diagnosed with the disease at this stage, the best course of action is to closely monitor them at home and vet visit for any changes. In stage two, the symptoms of kidney disease will be more apparent like nausea, weight loss, appetite issues, hypertension, or anemia. Proactive care for your fur kiddo is crucial at this stage. You can help slow the progression of the disease if caught early enough. Your vet may recommend changes to the diet, give tests to monitor its progression, and prescribe medication to help their symptoms. Regular checkups together can help them adjust your pet health plan as needed. At this stage, creatinine will be between 1.4 to 2.8 milligrams in dogs and 1.6 to 2.8 milligrams in cats. In stage three, the focus becomes about providing as much comfort as possible to your pet. They are likely experiencing dehydration, so make sure that there is plenty of water available to them. Unsalted bone broth can get finicky drinkers to drink up again, or they can try pet fountains for cats since they prefer moving water. At this stage, creatinine may rise to a range of 2.9 to 5 in dogs and 2.9 to 5 in cats. At the final stage, it is important to do whatever you can to improve your pet's quality of life and prevent the disease from progressing. At this point, creatinine will be greater than 5 milligrams in both cats and dogs. Combating malnutrition and dehydration becomes even more important and in extreme cases, your vet may recommend feeding tubes or IV rehydration therapy. You may try embracing a holistic approach, which can include natural supplements as a part of their care. Formulated specifically for pets with kidney disease, our Kidney Failure Super Support Kit can complement your pet's care. It has Tripsy, Turmeric, and Milk Thistle. Tripsy can help support overall kidney, bladder, and urinary tract health due to its potent anti-inflammatory properties. Turmeric aids discomfort or inflammation your little one may face with chronic kidney disease and also help with the blood flow. Milk thistle may improve liver and kidney function as they work together to manage waste. Among wet care lifestyle changes and supplements you can give them at home, there is lots we can do for their comfort. If you find this helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Until next time.